if there is one book you should read this year or next, this should be it. It's like talking to a highly intellectual friend over coffee and just discussing about agricultural revolution and scientific revolution and cognitive revolution. It made me think about our next evolution as a species. Like, what is next? I love books and I read a lot. This year, I made a personal goal to read one book per week. And in this series, I will share with you some of the books that made quite an impression on me. I hope you enjoy this. Okay, so here's another book that made it to my top list uh, this year. And it's not a new book. It was published in 2015. I know I'm quite late in the game. Um, every other person who have read this book has guaranteed, you know, has the same sentiments as I do. But I'm just happy that I finally got to read it. So it is Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind by Yuval Noah Harari, uh, published in 2015. And again, I love this book. Now, this book may not be for everyone because the topics can be a little academic. Um, it talks about evolution, humankind's evolution. It talks about history, our history. And of course, science is, is also tackled in there. And of course, you can, if we talk about history, you cannot not talk about religion. So these are very hard-hitting topics, right? It's not your everyday topic. But the great thing about this book is that these are all academic topics, but the author wrote it and tells you about uh, these subject matters in a very no-nonsense, candid, straight-to-the-point manner. Um, so he strips away all that, that jargons and makes it really easy for, for you to understand. Um, so it's really quite fun, right? I mean, <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word to dis describe it, but I did have fun reading this book because it's such an eye-opener. These are the topics that you learn from school. Um, these are the topics that you memorize uh, while in, in school so that you would pass your exams. Diba? And more often than not, these are the you know, parang almost boring subjects. But in this book, I guarantee you, it's, it's brilliantly told. And there are information here that would really resonate with you. What I love about it is that the, the author talks about the how, uh, of the, the how of the evolution and the why of it really and it he gives you this really new ideas um one of the things that kind one of the things that's sort of a uh, mind blowing for me was when he talked about us as a species um we are the only species who has the ability to believe in the imagined right and what, what do I mean or what does the author mean when he says that? Basically, as in policies, government policies, um, you know, um, yeah, government policies, business uh, policies, business, the way we do business, the way we do our economics and all that. These are all imagined things. And when we say imagined, it's not literal, it's not tangible. These are just ideas. We are the only species who who can create, who can generate I these types of ideas and actually believe in them. It is in this belief, in this, it is in this ability to believe in the imagined that propelled our species to create civilizations, essentially. And more than that, it is our collective ability to believe in the imagined. Because it doesn't, you know, it, it, it wouldn't make sense if you're the only one who believes it, diba? For example, um, if I can get a very serious um, subject matter, it wouldn't really matter if you're the only one who believes in your religion, diba? I mean, you have to have like-minded individuals. You have to have other people believe in what you believe in. And if enough people believe in the same thing, then you create something bigger and you create something special. And that's essentially how our species evolved into what we are now, right? So from, from being the bottom of the food chain, from being the super species, from foraging for food, 
into exploring continents, from living in isolation tribe by tribe into building pyramids and you know these great structures and essentially also from from worshiping nature from worshiping the trees what 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 we see in front of us to eventually having the need to create our own deity that would look like us creating our religion essentially so it's all very interesting. These are the, the things that he talks about here. And of course, it, the, our ability to, to create and discover science and keep on discover, discovering new knowledge and new things about ourselves and even looking beyond uh, the stars, right? So it's all here. And it's such an amazing book. It's such a great read. And it's, it's packed with information um i you know take your time with this one um you don't need to to read it in one go actually it's nice if you read it by chapter and then kind of if you want to talk about it with someone that's even better to just kind of absorb the ideas and just bounce off um what you've read that's actually for me that's the best way to enjoy the book right now in the time that we're living now um, technologies are being discovered every single day and there are technological scientific advances everywhere in all the fields that we know and the mind uh, you know our our species as a collective it has been discovering new and newer things and I'm a I'm a sci-fi nut I'm a, I love science fiction and really science fiction is is just you know for me it's not an impossible thing. We just call it science fiction for now, but then give it a few more years, it's not going to be fictional anymore. So that's what's exciting for me after reading this book. I realized that, okay, so what is next? We started off as cavemen, and now we are here. We are this magnificent um, species. For what it's worth, you know, for good or for bad, we evolved the way we did, and we are here now. Um, so I'm curious what is next, right? And for me, that's that's the most exciting part of what's going to happen to our to our to to our species. What's the next evolution of our species? Um, and as a science fiction nerd myself, I, I'm you know I'm all for I'm in love with the idea of of AI and exploring other planets and you know exploring what other means we can expand our mind and how we can push that boundary. Um, it is a point of contention. It's not a very popular idea, but I love it. And this book kind of makes you want to think that way. You know, it kind of pushes you to to see that we do keep evolving. The species keep keeps evolving. And not just us, right? All the species around us, the, the species that survived and and evolve up to this point. They did so because they had to. It was necessary. It was it was a necessary uh, to survive the way they did, right? And it's just like us, ganun din. So I'm curious what would be next for us. And this is a brilliant, brilliant book. I would recommend you to pick it up. Don't, you know, don't worry if you don't get to finish it right away or if you, if you feel like there are moments na parang it's too academic or you feel like it's too much, it's fine, you know? Put it down, read another book, come back to it later. It's still going to be good. It's still going to be worth it. Um, trust me, it, it is. So I'm very happy I got this. He actually wrote a second um, installment to this one called Homo Deus. I do have a copy of that. I will start reading that next year and I'm excited about it. And But for, for now though, I hope you get a copy of this and I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. So there you go.